we simply have to be and exist to literally be him, to reflect him as his unity. We are sufficient. We satisfy him just as we are. And isn't that wonderful, specifically for my ladies, when this satanic egregore <laughs> that permeates so much of modern thinking in society attacks us so deliberately to be so insecure, to feel so insufficient, to feel, to covet, to desire to somehow accomplish more, do more, change more. When Yah as the ultimate beloved, the ultimate divine masculine, the ultimate husband, the ultimate father says, I already love you. You satisfy me. You please me just as you are, just as you is, <laughs> just as you were and always will be satisfied. To be satisfied is to be the first sin in the garden was covetousness. The, the seed of doubt planted by the serpent to think, hmm, there's something more that I should be doing. There's something more that I should be knowing. There's something more that I should be. I am not enough. That's the original sin covetousness, not enoughness, scarcity principle, scarcity mindset. And this is what drives the world into destruction and darkness. I pray that those with ears to hear truly catch this.